Hello, everyone, and welcome to VM Blog's coverage of the VeeamON 2023 conference taking place in Miami, Florida. And today we're joined by Van Flowers, the Senior Systems Engineer at Cloudian. Welcome. Thanks so much for having me. It's it's great to be here, guys. Uh, well, I, to kind of get things started, I guess, if maybe give VM Blog uh, viewers just a quick overview of uh, of the company. Yeah, Cloudian is on-prem object storage. We are built completely around the AWS S3 API model. So we are the de facto, you know, object storage. In other words, if you ran applications up in AWS and then brought them down and ran them on our on-prem solution, you're going to get the same response, the same commands. It's not a wrapper around your information. It's the honest to goodness S3. And at the uh, VeeamON conference, the attendees, what do you think they're going to be most interested in about your company and your technology? Well, I, you know, I think uh, just based on the conversations I've had since V12 is launched, everybody wants to know how they can reduce their cost of what they're moving their data to, you know, allowing, you know, Veeam version 12 now to streamline and go direct to object. We're completely taking that other more expensive performance tier out of the picture. OK, now the dollars that they were going to spend on those other expensive things, they can write directly to object, which is going to be more cost effective and still have that ability to do things like immutability all built in, as well as grandfather, father, son now will go long term into object storage. So it's a win win all the way around. And our customers that have started moving to it, and there are a lot of them are instantly going, you know what, I think that that performance tier that I used to have, I've got some money that I can now do X with. So it's a big deal. And what do you personally think, you know, when you're when we're thinking about Cloudian's technology, what is it that you consider it to be uh, unique or maybe set in a different way? Uh, what do you consider your key differentiators? Well, I think the, the biggest differentiator we have is because we've been in the game a long time doing object storage. We're the oldest ones that are around in the game. We're not a version one. We're not just out of the lab. You know, as Veeam began to move to that object storage that everyone wanted them to eventually go to versions back, now we've got the maturity to not only just become that immutable backup, that immutable place and long-term storage that's there, but we're not a one-trick pony. We do all kinds of things that integrate with Cribble, Splunk, all kinds of tools. It's a de facto way to now future-proof your data center by putting in object storage. Talking about Veeam and your partnership with Veeam, um, how do you fit into the Veeam ecosystem? Um, well, I'm an ex-Veamer. Uh, you know, I was there for, for a good while, and I know a lot of the guys that are there. Uh, it, it just pretty much is like a hand in glove. You know, when we were all talking years ago about, hey, we're going to do sober offloads and this is going to be great. The fact of waiting for us now to get to a place to where we can take all this data and write directly to object storage, it's a game changer. You know, it is now put Veeam not only in a better position overall, but now it allows us to truly give almost everyone access to those immutable backups. They don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, you know, what's it going to cost for my line feed backup to AWS and, you know, my put and get costs. You own clouding. It sits in your data center. There is no additional bill that comes every month because you already own it and all the good things that come with it. And what can a a Veeamon attendee expect, uh, you know, from you guys at your booth uh, if they're able to come and see you? What what kind of things can they expect to see? Well, one one of the things that we hope everyone comes by so we can tell them all the benefits that are there. But we'll walk them through the complete integration between Veeam and how Cloudian functions together, making their environment now more bulletproof, as well as seeing that true expandability that they can get from, you know, maybe it's time now because that object storage is so inexpensive. Let's get rid of those tapes that we've been putting in a locker that go to the ceiling in some of those law firms and some of those medical facilities over time. So we'll chat about all those things, but the integration and the seamlessness with which the two companies work together. We'll share that with you in detail. Now, obviously the, the landscape has changed a lot in the last couple of years. And 
what are some of the big challenges that you think uh, VMON attendees are facing in 2023 and moving into 2024? And how does your company look at solving those? Well, I, I think one of the challenges that's always been in IT in the 30 plus years that I've been doing is always cost. You know, we are, you know, from an engineering perspective, we're always expected to do more with less. And the ability to now have the built the the reduction of that performance layer now is getting money back in our pockets. We have the ability to streamline our backups, but that's where folks are looking at. And they are also changing their thought process because I know you guys remember not too long ago, every CIO on the planet said, oh, we're going to the cloud. Well, a lot of those folks are going, we're coming back out of the cloud because it's not cost effective. But when you have the ability to use object storage that's on-prem, it then gives you something that's cost effective, but an environment that you can better control and you own. Now, this has been great information and appreciate that a lot, but uh, maybe if you could, is there something you can show us? I'm a visual person, so uh, <laughs> maybe get a, get a little demo there. Sure. Sure. Yeah. I'll walk you guys through our GUI interface so you can see how simple it is to walk through and, and put these together. Okay. Great. Okay, this is a look at, I'm logged in as the administrator. You know, one of the things that uh, is built into cloud in, is the multi-tenancy. So if you have uh, a, a easy example to think about is you can put Coke and Pepsi in the same machine and neither one of them know that they're in the same machine. Same thing with like departments, maybe we have a research facility, they need to be able to separate the usage and what's there. All that multi-tenancy is built inside of this already. This gives us a view of how much storage is on this particular Cloudian, okay, overall, tells us what type of performance we've been seeing based on whether they were running backups, maybe they were running scripts, maybe they have ingestions that they're doing. And again, it's telling us any kind of alerts that we see, uh, the number of users that are on this particular environment, the version of code that's here. How big is this? This is one data center with six nodes, as well as telling us the number of objects. And again, one of the things that you guys probably already know is that object storage is millions of objects, okay? And Veeam writes plethora of objects out there. So in doing that, you know, it's a good idea for us to understand how those objects are being stored, where they are, so we can better manage them, okay? Uh, again, we can look at buckets and objects, but remember I'm logged in as the administrator. So when I go here, it won't let me see anything and that's on purpose. Okay. The administrator itself is there to administer those environments, but I can't manage and do things to other environments, thus keeping that security between the different departments, i.e. and different areas set in place. As far as finding details about the cluster, we can click here and it tells us the, the current status of the cluster, how things are running. Green check marks are always wonderful, okay? We can also go and take a look at if we were gonna connect this back to Veeam, we'd be logged in as the Veeam user, whoever we created that at. We could go here and click on security credentials and it's going to give us, again, if this was our individual user, our access key, uh, it would give us a secret key just as it would if we were logging into AWS. Again, mimicking the AWS S3 API to the letter. So we find all the things that we need to set up and put our Veeam connectivity to object storage in place. I've probably dumped buckets into a Veeam environment, two or three different ones, set up the users and everything in less than 20 minutes. It's real straightforward, real simple. And that's kind of a light overview, but when you come and see me at the booth, and I will be at Veeam on, uh, I'll take you as deep and as wide as you want to go. Well, thanks for that great demo. Now, for people that don't have a chance to come out to the event, um, what would be the next steps that they could take to learn more about Cloudy and, and some of your technology offerings? Yeah, it, Anytime you can connect to the bottom of our cloudian.com website, there are links that you can click on that'll give you white papers, as well as put you in touch with someone who can go deep dive with you, either an engineer or salesperson. But again, I'll be at Veeamon looking forward to seeing those folks that are there and look for us to do little blurbs 
during VMON, just like you guys are doing this with us today, we'll put things out on LinkedIn, things out on Twitter, Instagram, and you'll be able to get in touch with us at that place. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to uh, speak with VM Blog today. Guys, thank you so much for having me. We really appreciate it.